just out delivering a few fish here to customer Ryan. Uh, his new pond that he's built over the last, well, since autumn last year, over the winter. A um, bit of an upgrade for the fish. They were originally in a four or five hundred gallon pond. It was run off an easy pod. Um, it's a very sort of standard Belfast terrace house with a small courtyard in the back. And people always say, oh, I don't have a big enough garden for a pond or a nice koi pond or whatever, but Ryan's definitely made the most of this size of the garden. The pond's ended up, I think it's about 1,800 gallons. Uh, it's five foot deep, bottom drain on the annexus uh, 220. Um, the skimmer and then run over. The skimmer runs over the back of shower. I'll run you through all the rest of it in a minute. I'll just flip this round so you can see it. I'll stand back a bit. You can see that it's just a normal terrace courtyard. Not really a lot of space. But definitely made the most of it with this pond. All these fish were previously in a, I think it was four or five hundred gallons. And they spent the best part of late summer, autumn, in a temporary holding vat while this was built. It's great to see them now in this pond, they should be able to get some decent growth. It's all co covered in polycarbonate roof, glass windows, and stuff, so it should hold the heat really well over the summer. Fish have sat really, really well under the new pond. I'm just waiting for the temperatures to come up a bit now. I'm just open up this filter house here. Everything's all inside this. There's a bit of a tight squeeze getting all the pipe work in and all the rest of it, but uh, it's worked out quite well. front and all opens so yep give you a bit of access for cleaning and everything's been well squeezed in here there's two very pumps running one off uh, one ten thousand off the skimmer just straight out up and over the, the back of the shower um, an access 220 with the auto cleaning kit. I'll just set this down here and see if we can open this up. Filter's done really well, 30 watt UV on the back of it there. Switch the air off here now, let me see the, the pond a bit better. The water crystal clear. You can actually feel the heat coming from this, like a greenhouse effect with this cover and the windows on. The water's up to about 16 degrees already, with no heating. It's pretty good for Northern Ireland. Fish here is going in. Bought this from the stuff that came in in the, the autumn harvest. 
set this camera down here and get into the pond. Definitely not a lot of space in here, but beautiful, beautiful pond. Really has made the best use of the space. Actually, Rand done most of this himself, just helped me help them out with a bit of advice. We did the fiberglassing and did some of the, the pipe work and the filtration and stuff for him. I think it's turned out really, really well. He's definitely a fanatical fish keeper. Um, he's got a couple of beautiful reef tanks inside the house. I'll just do a quick video on them as well while I'm here. I'd like to see them. Ryan's other side to fish keeping. He was primarily a reef keeper. Um, he's got more and more into the pond fish as the years have gone by. He's just in the process, the house is getting renovated here at the minute, and he's just in the process of switching over to a new reef tank. Um, both are beautiful like but I'll, I'll flick this around here and show you the, the old tank and then I'll show you a few shots of the new one. Really is beautiful tank. The camera here doesn't really would need like an orange filter lens to really show you the colours properly on these corals. It is beautiful, but he's just in the process now of cycling his new tank. And then he starts switching over some of these corals. But um, you just don't realise the time and effort that it takes to, to keep a tank like this. I would love something like this myself, but I just don't have the time now. Some of the corals are absolutely stunning. Colours will truly pop under the blue lights. Um, The work involved in keeping this is just unbelievable. It's a full-time job, basically, looking after a tank like this. We need to be properly dedicated to it. But uh, I'll just flick right now. This is his new tank. He's just cycling at it at the minute. Really is beautiful. Not too sure of that. It's like six foot by three foot by two feet deep I think. Not exactly sure in the dimensions of it. He's got four Castle AP700s on it. Or AP, uh, a, yeah, AP700s over the top of it. And a couple of the Reef Bright LED bars on the side of it. It's just in the process of cycling now so he's got the fish in and they're settling. 
and then once the parameters all sort of settle down it'll start flicking across the corals. Really is beautiful. And down into the sump here. A massive Deltec skimmer. Doing its thing there. There's probably not a lot of dirt for it to collect in this system just yet. And then we're into, I think he's trying to get a, an algae bed going. Some Cheeto or Calerpa or something he's trying to grow on it. Normally this is all covered in with the, the doors on the side of the tank. I'd definitely like to come back to this one at some stage and get a a video of it when the corals have all settled in and started to grow out. Beautiful.